Yeah, why? Oh. Three, two, okay. One, go. So Drum actually playing the Zelda. This is a canon matchup, by the way. <laughs> These two. Yeah, they, they fought. It was right before... Uh, right before they wanted to fight Ganon on the top of the tower, no, they it was had right to, after. Like, you know, right like, after, they're like, you know, the right "You're after. next." No, <laughs> it's like you know, it, it's the two rivals after the journey's done, then they then they fight each other. Oh, it's like you all you thought this was over. <laughs> the true enemy was yeah. Zelda all along. Ganon was trying to save you. Yes, the whole time. Uh, anyway, let's. I guess we can talk about the actual matchup itself. Uh, as we can see right now, Zelda is a character that normally likes to put up walls and that sort of thing. Uh, and <laughs> Young Link just has none of that. The fact that he can put, throw out these projectiles and put on so much pressure from a distance from so many different angles has meant that, yeah, there is not really even a big chance for Extra O, uh, sorry, rather, Germ to play the game that he probably wants to. Not only that, Young Link is a character that once he gets in, he just does Ugh. so much damage. Oh, he actually, I think he might have done that on purpose so that he could cut the lag on his uh, up air short and maybe try and combo more with it. That would have been silly. All right. Now, one thing about Zelda versus Toon Link by Ooh. nature. <laughs> yuck. Um, Young Link can struggle to kill. He has a lot of really cool confirms and, you know, all this flashy stuff that leads into kills. But when you're talking about just in neutral, when both characters are in the red, it can be really difficult for him to reliably take stocks. Zelda is a character that doesn't really have that problem. She has so much kill power. You know, there is the kill power that comes from setups, but then also, as we've seen, her forward smash, her down air and up air. Oh. Okay, all right. He's Peace dead. out, Link. It's fine. Wait, did the... Why did it... Did it... it, it did it tether to the legend that it stopped? Uh, did, I think... Did he, he hit down? Uh, I'll take a look. Uh, he did it the wrong way. Oh. How? Wait, what? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's a big break for Germ. Means that now... Oh, he's... I see what happened. So, he thought that... what? Ha so, when he got dash attacked, he thought that he got turned around because he got hit. But the new thing in this game is, like, if you get hit by certain moves strong enough from your back, you won't turn around. And so he was just like, oh, I, I should be facing the ledge. Hits Z. No. No, you weren't. Now, one thing that I'm excited to see, actually, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm excited to see how Extra O would play Young Link from behind. Uh, because, you know, when, when Young Link has a lead, he has lots of effective ways of playing. You know, your opponent's forced to approach. You have, usually you have a percent lead, so you can play a certain way. Uh, but when he is the one, sort of, the onus is on him to make a comeback. Uh, I'm always just curious to see how players adapt, change, and just tailor their gameplay for that. Uh, it seems like no character switches in order. Felt like he was in control for most of that, and it's just an unfortunate SD. You know, sort of being unfamiliar with the game mechanics are what did him in. Two, one, All right, so Germ getting rid of uh, Unova and Yoshi Story. So Extra O going to be opting for Kalos. Uh, I, I can see this because, like, Young Link has a wall jump, and... You don't want to, he just wants to like keep his juggle game going. He's a fast moving character, so when you can outmaneuver, sometimes you just want to like keep him in one spot. You don't want to give them that extra dimension of landing. Yeah, however, at the same time, uh, just because Zelda's floaty, I feel like Extra O would kill off the top a lot. Um, his well, up air is, of course, one of his best finishers. But and remember, that higher ceiling might. But remember, the way him. that like he has like some of his like crazy strings, that platforms on the edges can actually end up being like combo extenders where he can do his side B stuff and end up killing off the side. Ooh. And right there, that down air iron mm -hmm. honestly was more than enough to finish the job. Derm is similar to game one in a pretty rough position. Okay. 
Um, that's, so that's something that I've always said is Zelda can be really effective. Just like you hit up B, and it's an option select, where if you're against a projectile character, you hit up B, and then you watch them. And you're like, did they pull out a projectile? Okay, teleport right to their face. Did they not? Just teleport in place then. It's very non-committal, and if your opponent is really gung-ho about just throwing out projectile after projectile, it can sometimes lead to their downfall. And, all right, Extra O's mad. He is upset that he lost that last game because, as you can see right here, he is about to have a two-stock lead on only 72% on him. Wow, DI's out of that elevator combo. Really great stuff from him. We're seeing a lot of these uppies from uh, Germ might be a little bit of a... All right, okay, catches him dropping shield. I'm not sure if he was trying to go for a parry, but all right. Regardless, extra O still in a comfortable lead here, a full stock to work with. And considering the way he's been playing, he can just rack up damage super reliably. Ah, that up he had a shield is so good, can lead to so much. Extra O though, being hit by a lot of these phantoms. Seems that Germ is getting a little more comfortable actually finding ways to put the pressure on him from afar. Oh, he is at the nice percent, though. <laughs> Legends have been told. Oh, my. The spacing on that. The bait. That was just phenomenal drop from Germ. And now he's actually one stock away from just winning the set. He got lucky game one, but this right here, this is not luck. This is pure skill. Just absolutely beautifully playing around his opponent. Germ's still behind, though, and there are lots of ways that Toon Link, sorry, Young Link, rather, can just end a stock pretty quickly. His damage output is crazy. His ability to lead into those finishers is, ooh, look at that, that double fire. Ooh, I like and that the way. air dodge is caught. That's going to be game two for extra O. Leading it to a game three as we see Battlefield Insta Band. I'm wondering where we might end up going to. And PS2 as well. FD maybe? Honestly, though, I don't think FD is a great pick just because uh, it felt like for the most part. Um, Extra O was getting down for free. Not for free, but it was... It wasn't like the big strength that uh, Germ had going for him was Juggles. Oh, going All back right. to Kalos. Interesting. Uh, now, I do think that he started to get a grasp by the end. However, like this is one of the big things about Young Link is when he starts getting momentum, it just escalates and escalates. Like, he brought him down to that last stock, and things were looking pretty even, and then he just did 100% uncontested. Three, two, one, go! <gasps> oh! He's swapping to the Toon Link. Now, this is going to be... Uh... <laughs> I, now, the differences between these two characters, I am not exactly sure how this plays out. I think that this is very even. Like, super even. To the point where it's really going to be who plays the projectile game, the spacing game better, is going to be the victor. Like, you see that the bunch of their moves are similar. That boomerang in particular, the way that they will just, like, deny space from the other. I will, actually, I'm wondering why Germ was playing Zelda earlier, because his Toon Link is looking super comfortable, super strong right here. 121%. This is looking like the opposite of last few games. Just a massively strong start from Germ, and yeah, he, <laughs> the extra O I don't think was ready for this. He's been spending the last two games playing against a slower character. You know, Zelda, you have time to think and, you know, come up with a game plan. But this Toon Link's pressure, the way that he's just throwing out projectile after, project after projectile being in his face. Even now, the damage continues, confirms off of the bomb. Wow. He's dead. I forgot about that forward air. It's so strong, so meaty. This Toon Link from Germ is looking brutal right now. 
the there are so many adjustments, so much ground that needs to be made up from Jerm. Sorry, from extra O at this point. Yeah, when you're a, a deficit versus Toon Link is a real pain in the yeah, ass. Yeah, I, I. Oh man, I. I even forgot about that component of it. That if he wants to, he could play a very obnoxious game. But I mean, Jerm is not really doing that. He is still, you know, being at a more of a mid range, you know, still approaching, as we can see. Uh, which, I mean, it's working out for him. It's getting damage. So I absolutely agree with that. Now, Devin, so oh. you have. Brawl insight. Is this like a tune? Is this like a brawlish tune link? Because I know that. Uh, I'm not really sure. I uh, I don't know tune link that well. He wasn't a very popular character, and I honestly don't really remember uh, how he played. He, I mean, he's always been like kind of the runaway character. So like even in Smash War, like he hasn't really changed too much. He's just like, yo, check me out. Look at. It's like, look at my static uh, knockback bombs so I can combo into fair. Oh, that's and, oh yeah, check out my sick back throw. I've always had that. Not quite the death yet, but, yeah, but I will say there. that Germ, uh, sorry, extra O right now is doing it, starting to make this comeback. If he can end the stock right here with a big smash attack, he absolutely keeps himself in the running. Oh, but he is definitely at death percent himself, so he needs to be absolutely careful. When he picks that right moment to unleash, it has to be the right one, because otherwise, after... It seemed like Extra was pretty confident, you know, after beating his Zelda, but that's going to be it, I think. Game. Young Link not going to be heavy enough to survive a Toon Link back throw at the ledge, and that means that Germ... Uh, looking like a completely different player once he switched to Toon Link. Like, I think that that was... To the point where, in a different timeline, if he had won game, mm -hmm. if uh, extra O had won, extra O had won game one, he probably would have gone to in the game two.